G'day lads and lasses, you'll have to excuse the mess in the background, but I'm back again for another BuzzFeed video. We're going to answer BuzzFeed yet again, and this series is starting to get a little bit old, so I think for the next one, it's time to turn the tables. Basically what I'm asking of you is to go down to the comments below and give me your best questions that you have for BuzzFeed, because the next one, we're going to be giving BuzzFeed the questions. We're no longer answering them. And I know a few of you have asked about shoutouts, and a few of you have Ask in the comments down below. Now, keep in mind with some of the comments, for some reason, YouTube's not letting me respond, but the person I'm shouting at today, his name's Ouija, up on the screen right now. He makes music of like the nightcore variety. Some of it's pretty good, and uh, he was linked by a friend. A lot of you also asked for shout outs, and I'm gonna do that on the live stream, which is on Sunday at 5 p.m. this Sunday. 5 p.m. Eastern Australian Standard Time, or 3 p.m. for all you WA tosses. So yeah, we do make some pretty good music, and uh, if, if it's okay with him, I'd like to use some of it as background music for my channel, because I do like some of it. And hey, if you really want Ouija, I mean, you, you could make a, a video personalized for my channel. I don't know, I don't know. I, I would like a personalized home thing, but enough of that. We're getting into the BuzzFeed answers thing. Anyway, because the setup that I have currently is like, terrible and everything's just stuffed up and my camera and my microphone are blocking the screen. I've got it up on my phone. So we're going to start with question one. What even is Vegemite? Does it taste good? Why do Australians eat it? Why are you asking me what it tastes like? Vegemite's available pretty much anywhere, so you should just go taste it and tell me if it tastes good. Number two, why do all Australians leave when they become famous? I think this one's contextual, I have no idea what it means. Does she mean like Australian actors, why do they leave when they become famous? Um, well, I have an answer for that, because the film industry and TV industry in Australia is dead. There's a reason that you see pretty much the same actor in every single TV show in Australia. It's because it feels very much like a family business, it's extremely hard to get into because you have to know people, and that's probably why they leave to America, because at least over there we can get jobs, but in Australia it's fucking shit. Number three, why do Australians pronounce tuna like tuna and YouTube like YouTube? Why are we so weird? So this is an Australian asking a question for Australians. Um, we say tuna because it's got a T in it, and we say YouTube because it also has a T in it. I, I, yeah. Number four, why do Australians have the best clothes? It's not really a question, it's more of a praise, so uh, thank you. And turn, turn, yeah, no, you have a weird name. No, thank you. Number five, why do Australians say pizza like pizza? Again, it's pronunciation. Not everything's spoken the same way it is where you are. Number six, why do Australians have a president? Why do they have those pr prune minimum things? Um, I think you're not even over the mental capacity to be asking questions about politics, but we have prime ministers because we're part of the Commonwealth. You know, America was part of the Commonwealth once and then they decided to kill all the British people in their country. We didn't do that. Number seven, why do Australians call blowjobs gobbies? Oh my god, gob. Number eight, why do Australians call flip flops thongs? What is that about? That's because that's what their proper name is. Who calls it a flip flop? That's just retarded. Number nine, why do all Australians have a cat and a MacBook? I have windows and I fucking hate cats. Number 10, why do Australians not believe in water pressure or shower doors? Why are you perving on people in the shower? Number 11, why do Australians say heaps so much? I've started saying it, they say it much. Okay. Number 12, what do some Australians call the arriving refugees boat people? What did their ancestors come in? Gulfstream jets? We call them boat people because they're arriving in boats. I mean like, we arrived in boats, would it be necessary to call us boat people? 13. Why do Australians not know the definition of plagiarism? Is their English different from ours? Clearly it is, because we pronounce and call things differently. Now keep in mind, Australians are the only people keeping English alive, because in England, they can't speak it properly, and in America, they can't spell it properly. In Australia, it's the way it is. We spell it properly, and we speak it properly. So, and I don't know what plagiarism's in yours, because plagiarism just means you copy someone else's shit, so... Yeah, we know the definition of it, dickhead. Number 14, why do Australians act like they invented licorice? Well, I don't want to act like I invented licorice, I fucking hate that shit. Number 15, why do all Australians say sup? Like, what the fuck, man? It's what's up, shut the fuck up. I'm pretty sure that's an American thing. I haven't ever heard an Australian go sup, unless it's a joke. Number 16, why do Australians try so hard to be American? Why would we want to be? Like, you have one of the highest murder rates in the world. You have constant gun violence, you have 
a presidential election where your choice is between some childish retard and some woman who wants to declare war on everything un-American. Plus we have safer gun laws over here and we might not have the freedoms that Americans have, but our country is just safer and generally much better. So why do Americans not want to try and be Australian? I mean, you could learn something from us. Number 17, why do Australians say far out? Shut up, far out. Far out just means wow, get over it. Kid. Number 18, why do Australians look more American than us? If, if by American you mean pasty and white, I think you're looking at the British people, you're not looking at us. We um, we have these things called mad tan lines. See, so like my arm is a different color to my upper arm. Yeah, we, we don't look more American than you, like... Isn't that kind of racist what you're saying? Number 19, why do Australians call soccer football? It doesn't work like that here. I understand you're trying to sound cool, but stop. I don't call soccer football. I call soccer soccer and football football. And people who try to call soccer football generally annoy me because they just, they are trying to sound cool. So I actually agree with number 19. Thank you, Kira, for asking a very important question. Number 20, why do Australians make words that end with A's sound like they end with R's? It's so cute. What do you mean? Like, I can't even think of an example of that. Let me think of a word. I can't even think of a word that ends with A. For God's sake. So fella is spelled F-E-L-L-A. And fella. That, that's just how we pronounce it. Like, we don't say fella. We say fella. Number 21. Why do some Australians identify with Ned Kelly? The guy was basically a piece of shit. Yes, he was a piece of shit. Yes, he killed people. I do not personally agree with anything that he did. But I do agree the symbolism behind the kind of person he was. And he was serving his own self-interest. But the symbolism behind Ned Kelly is that even if the world and the government is stacked against you, you can still make a living. So it's basically just like a go your own way and fuck all the other people who try to stand in your way. But yes, he was a piece of shit. Number 22, why do Australians sound so derpy? Can't, I can dump turds that are more intelligent than you. Number 23, why do Australians make the best music though? Thank you, Sophia. And we do. Talking of Australian hip hop, how's that new Illy song, Cash 22? I know it's not, I know it's not really that new, but it is a good song. So uh, yeah. We do make good music. Number 24, why do Australians say MATH? I know it's meant to be math, but that's just what people say. Number 25, why do Australians not know how to pronounce debut? I just pronounced it correctly, debut. And if you, if you think, if you think the correct pronunciation of debut is debut, you're the one in the wrong. I actually made a video on this a while ago. Here it is. Debut, 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 fucking debut. Seriously, look at those spells, it's etymology. You can go back to kindergarten, be the word time to speak like a normal fucking person. Number 26, why do all Australians look decoupaged? I don't even know what that means. Here, let me define that for a second. An art technique in which paper cutouts, either from magazines, etc., or specifically made, are glued onto the surface of an object and sometimes painted or decorated. So you're saying, why do we always look like we're pieces of art? Are, are you like, are you saying that we're, we're attractive or costly or what are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. Number 27, why do Australians greet each other by saying good eye mate? It's not good eye mate, it's good day mate and no one greets each other like that. Number 28, why do all Australians call barbecue Barbie? That's so dumb, I'm laughing. We shorten a word and that entertains you. I guess, I guess simple minds are entertained by simple things. Number 29, why do Australians have all the cute bathing suits and cool random shit? I don't know. Number 30, why do all Australians say cunt so much? That's a big no-no in America. Why do we care about what words mean in your country? You come over here and say fanny and you have absolutely no idea what that means. You meet your friends and you say g'day cunt and if someone pisses you off you say fuck off cunt. It's it's just it's just an expression. Number 31, why do all Australians wear the same shoes? I'll be back. That's the same anywhere. Everyone wears the same style of shoe. You could be wearing runners, you could be wearing boots, you could be wearing sneakers, you could be wearing high tops, low tops, thongs. Not flip-flops. If you say flip-flops, I'm gonna fucking slap you. We don't all wear the same shoes, dickhead. Number 32. Why do Australians call McDonald's Maccas? Why? Again, we shortened a fucking word. Get over it. And the last one. Why do Australians have to be so damn attractive? I guess it's just in the jeans. Anyway, so that was 33 questions Australians need to answer right now. Like I said, this series is getting a bit worn out. And I'm one of those guys that knows when to stop a series and... I'm not gonna do the whole Call of Duty thing and keep clinging on to a name just to make myself more money. It's time to turn the tables. The next video on BuzzFeed, I want us Australians to be asking BuzzFeed the questions and then we may go on from that on to something else. So remember, 
If you have questions for BuzzFeed that you were thinking about the entire video, something you'd love to ask BuzzFeed, comment it down below. Try and keep it humorous because we want the video to be funny, but at the same time, try to keep it serious. Something like a question to all your white people, why do you work at a job where you're constantly harassed for being white? Because you know what I mean, BuzzFeed always puts out those articles and videos like questions for white people, why do you have to be cisgender and racist? You can't be racist to white people. It's, it's retarded shit like that that makes me really want to ask BuzzFeed some good, funny, but sometimes serious questions. So comment them down below. Now another fun announcement I'd like to make, you'll notice that there is a new milestone in my description of my videos and at my about page on my channel. 5,000 subscribers, I'll start doing two videos a week because these videos are actually quite fun to make, but this series is drawing to an end. So we're gonna have to start being more creative and stuff. But on top of that, because we hit 2,500 subscribers, we are doing a live stream this Sunday at 4.30. I know I said five at the start of the video, but 4.30, because I actually have to cook the family dinner now. I just got told, thanks mom. But 4.30 p.m. or 2.30 for all you WA tosses, be on YouTube. I'm going to be live streaming from my very house in my very room. You'll get to talk to me in like, literally instant form. Well, you can ask me whatever question you want. We'll probably have a few things to talk about. I have absolutely no idea what we're gonna do, but there's a live stream. 4.30 on Sunday, 2.30 for you WA tosses, and I will put out a video later to remind you of that. Now, I know in the last video I said the first 10 people to retweet will get a personal roast, but I'm going to be doing those in the live stream from now on. The live stream is going to be weekly. When I can do it, I will let you know when I can't do it. But for all the people who are ready to be roasted by my awesome roasting skills, you're gonna have to wait for the Sunday roast. Holy shit, that line actually works. But you're gonna have to wait for Sunday because you're going to all get roasted on Sunday. And the first five people to retweet this video will also be roasted on Sunday. So we're gonna have to do a total of 15 roasts. It's probably gonna take like 15 minutes to do, which is a lot of time because I can only live stream for an hour, which is at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time or 2.30 for you WA people. Make sure you're there, don't be square, and that is all from me. Don't forget to ask your questions for BuzzFeed down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. There are annotations down below for you to follow, and there's annotations at the end for you to follow, but that is all from me. I am done. BuzzFeed, up yours, fuck you, and next time we're turning the tables and the questions are coming your way. I'm running out of stuff to say, so I'll just see you in the next video. Beep! Fucking say X skip! I must have missed a lesson in first grade!